What is up, humans? This is the Diamond Invader, and welcome to a game called Zombie Survival Quiz 2. Let's see if I could survive a zombie outbreak, which is basically like what happened in Minecraft. Once again, it is stressed that you answer each question honestly to be the best of your ability. A false sense of confidence is just as deadly as the zombies themselves. You are ab about to begin the outbreak. Survival Aptitude Test or OSAT. Click OK to begin. Are you male or female? Male? Is your... What is your hair length? Bald? How tall are you? Gee... I haven't measured in quite a while, but I think I'm six... Near six and seven feet. How would you describe your strength? A little bit above average. How many miles can you jog in one session without stopping? Let's see, a mile... I'm not even sure that sure, so just one, maybe. You just found out a member of your group murdered someone before the outbreak. What do you do? Give them a few supplies, let them stay, but keep an eye on them. Let them stay. I have a... Do you have any experience with firearms? There we go. A zombie can learn new skills. Uh, some of them can, I think. Yeah. In which of the following do you have the most formal training? Soft That one. One of your pregnant group members is being attacked by a large group of zombies. What do you do? Forget about them. Nobody have no time for them. Alright, are you willing to use sex to gain supplies? Help you to see regardless of gender or sexual appeal. No. I have morals and I'm honorable. You can only have one of the following and have no additional supplies you choose. That, the 50 rounds of ammunition and a pistol. When fighting with an axe. It is best to do which of the following. Try to dismember the zombie beheaded or smash the zombie skull. I would try to behead it, but I think it would be the easiest to smash its skull. How does one become infected with a zombie? By fluid contact. Wait a second, this what bites. Could be either, right? Have you have, have you served in the following none? I'm an invader. The only way to eliminate a zombie is to destroy the brain. You have both a pistol and a bolt axe and rifle. When choosing between the following, which is best? I um, I think the silencer would be the best. Zombies require oxygen to function. That is false. Are you a heavy sleeper? Which of the following is an average to using a shotgun? It's a so the following is an advantage. Well, that's uh, gonna be this one. Where do you live?
When an outbreak occurs, where do you go? Well, I would personally go to church. But the logical place to go, it's which way I would most likely go is the nearest military base. Which is the following mass human sense from zombies. I'm pretty sure nothing. What's it the following organs functions in a zombie? The stomach. Which is best overall? Sledgehammer. Zombies should retain their memories. That's a lie. I wonder how long this is. In the event of a, an emergency, you could treat which of the following? A cut or scrape, a broken bone, a severe lactation or gunshot wound. Zombies eat because it's an instinct. Which of the following methods of transportation is best when traveling alone? A bicycle. Why do zombies moan? You have discovered a navy gunboat that has crashed on the coast. What do you do? Okay. It's probably best to fortify, but if it has nothing, I should probably go away, search it. Which is the best overall? See a semi automatic rifle, a bolt action, or something. Soon. The handgun is not the best one, but a shotgun might be. Maybe a shotgun because just that one shot would do good. Burning the corpses of the zombies is recommended. You have spotted a group of armed survivors. Your best bet is try to. Try to join them. Zombies will eat which of the following? All of them. When traveling, you should kill zombies only when you are in danger. Because you need to save what you can. Alright, when is the best way? When is the best to travel? I would say daytime. A uh, zombie does not require a functioning olfactory auditory or an ocular sensory system to locate prey. True. Someone close to you has become infected. What do you do? Lock them up somewhere and leave. Corpses can be brought back to life by zombies. False. Because I believe you still need an active brain for it to actually work. Alright, which of the following is best when firing upon a zombie? I need an active brain. With today's generation of humans, I am I think by the next generation that won't be a problem with zombie apocalypses. Alright, let's see. The following is the best one firing upon a zombie. Fire from a distance. What stuff the following is classified as a submachine gun? I ain't got no clue, so why am I click that one? When clearing a building of zombies, it is best to do what before entering a room? Ask if anyone's there. What is the first thing you should do when coming into contact with other survivors? Check them for bites. You are approaching a city, which is which of the following is best? 
move through the city as fast as possible. Cities have a lot of zombies. But I feel like I would have a little bit of supplies by the time I find the city. Wait a second, I would be in the city. So, ain't it? I don't know. Alright, which of the following is true of infected animals? They also become zombies. Electric shock is effective as a primary mean of eliminating zombies. Could be, but that's false. A zombie bleeds in the same way a human does. That's false. What would you do if you became infected? I would actually go and try to find someone else so my zombie can get them. But, uh, I guess that's the closest answer. Well, that's an awkwardly happy song to be playing. Alright, my physical rating. I got a B. Your physical abilities aren't special, but they aren't anything to scoff at. Got a 58. Mental rating. Intelligence and reasoning. Your intelligence is unremarkable. Just hope you don't end up on Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader. Okay, let's get the answers. Alright, next. Experience rating. You know enough to keep you moderately safe. Much of your dealings with zombies will be based on guesswork. Your selfishness would keep you relatively safe, although it would annoy possible group members. Empathy. I got a B. Your chances of survival are average at best. You'll need to be especially, especially mindful of your actions as well as those of your group, group members. Attempting to survive all on your own will likely have dire consequences. Alright, next. Alright, I think that may be it. Uh, so, until next time, Invader out.